So we can look at both of them on the same data set that we had before, except that this time we are going to use group average clustering. Gets a bit more interesting. So we have the same distances, same distance matrix, just under linkage. And the first thing we do in Underberg is to find the minimum in each column. We could do only on half of it, we can do on the entire column, that is not so important. So we mark the smallest values. I've been working on columns, but it's a symmetric matrix, so that is my cache. And I can just remember the position in the matrix that is more useful than the, the actual number. And now if I want to find the minimum, I only have to scan these values to find 0 0.5 because it must be one of my marked values. So I have my cache. I've been writing down the letter of the minimum here. And I can identify the minimum and merge D and E just as before. There's no difference for group average if I have just two points. The average of one value is the value. Now I know that I will have to recompute this column because I merged these two. And I need, know that I have to update this one because I merged D. So I know that these values need to be recomputed. I have my new values and I have to compare them, but they are all larger. So I don't need to update the first three one of them. I only need to update the last two. And now I can do a scan on these and this will be the, the minimum and this will be the minimum. So yeah, it's easier to read. That's just the remaining values. So that is my new cache, and it will have to store F and DE in, as my updated cache values. Saved half of the work here. And then I can, again, check for the minimum of these, which will be AB. That's the smallest cached value. And I can merge these, and I can combine the values. Right now, these combined values, they are not that easy to read if they are um, written this way, but here you can see, can read them. I, Literally have one half times five plus one half times five point seven zero, and that is this distance. And that's because I'm merging clusters with one object and one object. That's still easy, easy case where the the other the weighted average would be the same. And I have to verify if my cache is still valid. I have to recompute this one, which will be here. So that will be DE. And I would need to check if any of the others changed, but these values are worse. So the cache is good on that. And that is my new cache. I can find the new minimum, which will be these values, D and F and I'm going to merge them. And now this is the first time the computation gets more interesting. Now it's not the arithmetic average of these two numbers, but it's actually written up there on the slide already. Um, you can't see it on the recording later on. So it's two thirds of 3.056, that's 3.06 in that chart, plus one third, 
times 3.889, and that is then this value. And that is because D and E are two points, and F is just one point. So two thirds, one third. And then we have the new value. Now everything is affected because these are my new minima. And uh, hence, the, the, we need to recompute the entire cache on this tiny matrix. And we can continue the remaining step. There is, of course, not much happening anymore. Questions on Underberg? So it's a very nice algorithm because I just need to add this cache array and it usually saves me an O of N runtime. That's nice. 